Tom Morse Jr. to give us our beginning prayer. Then the uncle will bring them flags down and we'll have grand entry will bring the colors in. First of all, I, before I pray, I want to welcome everybody here this evening at the beginning of our, our powwow. The first night is our traditional night and it's good to see everybody here to see the relatives that we have old friends and make new friends and so we want to welcome you here this evening and uh, hope you enjoy yourself not only this evening but all throughout this next four days so if you bow your heads with me we're going to go to the Lord in prayer our most gracious and merciful Heavenly Father God Almighty we come to you at this time in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ the Son of God Father, we come to thank you for all your blessings and divine favors all throughout this day. Thank you for your traveling mercy you brought us here. And Father, when we are completed sometime this evening, I pray that you take us all back home safely and find our families in good health. And Father, as we come this evening, Father, I pray that you bless each and every one that has made their way here this, this evening. I pray that you bless them and be with them, their families, their loved ones the nations that they represent this evening, uh, the visitors that will be coming from far and near. And Father, we pray that you will just watch and care over us as we go throughout this evening here, as uh, we uh, recall some of these old dances that have been originated in, in ancient of times and they're going to celebrate here this evening. I pray that you be with each one on the head staff, them and their families. And Father, we pray that you bless all the encampment all around about us here this evening all the fireplaces that will be burning for the, out the next three days. And Father, we pray that uh, you will be with the ones that uh, will be participating this evening and all throughout the remainder of this powwow. Father, we just come this evening to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. And Father, we, we have to uh, remember our young men, young ladies that wear the uniform of this country. I pray that you'll continue to watch and care over them, be with them, and help them. And Father, there are people in the hospitals, there are people in sorrow this evening. I pray that you'll be with them, comfort them, strengthen them. Go with us now throughout this evening, and I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, thank you, Grandfather. Hey, we need the family here, or the flag here. Okay, Uncle, you take the flag down and the veterans will present the flag to the family here.
At this time, good relatives, our tribal veterans are presenting the flag to the family here. Of Corporal Esther Cor Cora Wackley Nordyke. Corporal Esther Cora Wackley Nordyke enlisted, Nordyke enlisted in the United States Marines Corps on April 30th, 1952. She was stationed at Quintico, Virginia. April 29th, 1955, she received an honorable discharge. Upon separation, she received the National Defense Service Medal and was recommended for re-enlistment. Her parents were the late Horace Wackley and Josephine Masquat Wackley. She has three children, Cheryl Lee Nordyke, Lois K. Nordyke, David Keith Nordyke, and brother Francis Grant Sr. She graduated from Centerview School on Moccasin Trail Road. Esther was also a member of the Fox Clan here in our second Fox community. You know, in all communities, you know, we, we hold our veterans in high esteem. We say thank you to each one of these veterans here. Once again, we say to our veterans, thank you. One step to the rear. Oh, oh veterans, thank you. Before you leave, we'd like to have you guys come up here and uh, lead us in here uh, around this drum this time here. Uh, my sister was a veteran and she'd have you, we will follow you, She's, she was a veteran. She's the first uh, lady of uh, Wadasta. We're going to follow you guys um, the, to receive this honor of having her flag uh, flown this time. So. We'll let, let the veterans lead, lead us here. Um, my grandpa's gonna sing a song here. We're gonna dance around and like I say, we really appreciate this time. Okay, Neff, let's have that song there. Ladies Auxiliary Song. good relatives to come and dance with the family here. Of Corporal Mr. Cora Wackley Nordyke. 
Family members here are inviting each and every one of you good relatives to come over here and dance with us at this time. Corporal Esther Cora Wackley Nordyke flag was flown today. So in honor of that good relatives, we ask that you come over here and dance. Thank you, good relatives, for dancing with the family of Miss Esther Nordyke. Flag was flown today. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are here for our veterans. Thank you. Anakin, Kiwawi Amen. Oh. Kiwawi Amen. To each and every one of them. We're here to uh, honor Ms. Guapo. This flag that was flown there. Uh, it's a very big honor to the family here. Their, uh, their hearts, 
feel good. Still yet a little sad, but still yet they they feel good about being honored this time. Their their mother, their aunt, their grand folks like that, the family. It, down in their hearts, you know, they, they appreciate the veterans. We appreciate the uh, Powwow Committee for giving us this time to uh, uh, have this song like this. We, 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 we can't say enough of how we uh, feel, uh, how proud we are. And uh, uh, Esther Wackley was, a, as far as we know, she's the first uh, lady Wadasa to have her flag thrown here on a doggy land like that, our nation here. So we're very proud of that. And, and the boys, you know, their her son and her grandson here, they're they're very proud and honored, you know. And uh, and just like all the rest of us, we uh, appreciate this. We're gonna call a few names here to um, for people to come up here if they will, please. Second Fox Color Guard. We can't say enough thank you for, for what you guys have done for this family here. We're very uh, honored that you danced with us, that you uh, came, with, came over here, made your way over here. And we are very proud of you guys. My sister was a very nice lady. Uh, me and my brothers, we used to go over there kind of regular. And she'd always cook us a meal. No matter what time it was or when, she would always she would always uh, have something to fix something for us. Again, you know, we want to say thank you to the veterans. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. They gave us a, a badge here. I guess it goes with the flag. Huh? Powwow Committee, please come up, please. We thank you for this time that you allowed us to have here. The family is, uh, like I said, is very proud and that you honored their their mother, their sisters, their, all the family here. Well, we, we appreciate what you guys give us this time, you know. Uh, Gene, Jeff, you please come up here. We thank you for starting, for this thing happening over there with with my grandpa there, you, we, we, we think mighty highly of you, you know, you know how we feel about how you do for us, you know. Everything that you think a lot of, well, 
We hope God blesses you like that. All the same, Kenny. Oh, thank you, Uncle. All right, let's uh, line up at the Grand Entry Area. Grand Entry Area. Last call, last All call. Right. Arena Director Lloyd. Harrison Hunter is getting everybody lined up for our Thursday night Grand Entry. Once again, singers will go in this order here. Grand Entry song. I believe the colors will go around one time and in another half a time face east. Flag song. Lloyd says we are ready to go whenever you are ready there. Uncle, take it away. Grand entry Thursday night. Hutcha ha. All right, good relatives, if you could, those of you that can, we ask that you rise, please, as we bring in the Eagle Staff. Carried by Mr. Dennis Hopkins, the U.S. Army, Iraq, Afghanistan, Bosnia, 101st Airborne. Let's give him a big round of applause as he brings in the Eagle Staff. Bringing in the stars and stripes, Mr. Reuben Allen, U.S. Army, Afghanistan, 3rd Infantry Division. Big round of applause, Mr. Reuben Allen. Carrying in the second Fox flag, Mr. Wallace Bud McClellan, U.S. Army, 12 years, Taiwan, Korea, Germany, and France. Big round of applause, Mr. Bud McClellan. Carrying in the MIA POW flag, Mr. Harry Walker, U.S. Army, 187th Airborne, Korean War. Big round of applause to Harry Walker. veterans coming in behind the colors there we say welcome veterans we say thank you Minikin Kiwawayaman veterans also followed by our royalty directly behind our royalty we have our head man dancer for tonight Mr. Billy Bimo also our head lady dancer Miss Harriet Nanato Gentlemen, as you see, the MIA POW flag going in the opposite direction. It's just to let our people know we haven't forgot about our veterans, those that are still missing in action, prisoners of war. This flag will not join the other flags until all of our veterans have returned. Veterans, you are not forgotten. We say thank you once again. Straight dancers, men, southern style straight. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for dressing tonight. Aho, aho. <laughs> Following them, some of our other categories grass dance, fancy dance, straight dance. Aho, thank you, dancers. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, young men.
about a big round of applause, our first grand entry Thursday night. Oh, thank you dancers. Thank you singers. This time Uncle would like to come back to the drum here for our flag song. Thank you, singers. This time we go back to our center drum for our memorial song. As we think about a lot of our families here that lost loved ones throughout the winter months, different ones that we're thinking about today. We have this song in honor of the families here. Thank you, singers. At this time, we go back to our center drum as we render the victory song in honor of the Eagle Staff, the Stars and Stripes, the Tribal Flag, and the MIA POW flag. If we have any veterans there in the audience, you're welcome to come in here. Dance with our veterans here. <laughs> We're honoring you veterans at this time here. 
We say thank you once again. If you have any veterans out there in the audience, you're welcome to come in here. Native and non-native, come on in. Veterans, this is your song here. We're honoring you at this time here. We say thank you. All that you have done, allowing us to have, allowing us to enjoy ourselves here. We say thank you, veterans. singers you may be seated at this time ladies and gentlemen thank you once again thank you veterans at this time here we'd like to make a welcoming message here too and turn the microphone over to one of our good relatives here I'd like to say thank you to this lady here that served our tribe many years within our community here miss mary mccormick turn the microphone over to you at this time here lady thank you Tribal members, on behalf of the Business Committee of the Sac and Fox Nation, I welcome you and so happy to see you. And uh, I'm looking forward to a very happy reunion with those we don't get to see but once a year. So make yourself at home. I'm looking forward to the tribal dances here tonight, and I know you are too. So Let's enjoy the evening, and we'll count on the announcer keeping us straight on what we need to do. Thank you so much. It's good to see each of you. All right. How about a big round of applause one more time for Miss Mary McCormick. All right. Thank you there, ladies. Oh, my relative called me chairman. I guess I'm going to have to run for chairman this coming election. Way, way. Activity Committee, Piano, Speaker Stand, Activity Committee. Uh, one more big round of applause for our second Fox veterans. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Aho, Minikin.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, as they exit the arena, how about a big round of applause for our second Fox veterans taking care of our grand entry first night here of the 52nd annual. Uh, oh, thank you. All right, let's make some introductions here. Step on in and give us a wave here at this time here, serving as our head man dancer here for our first session here Thursday night, Mr. Billy Bimo, second Fox. Son of Ron and Ginny Bimo, grandson of the late Matilda Grass and maternal grandson of the late Harry and Jesse Rice Topai. Children Jay, Darian, and Adeline. All right, where are you at there, brother? Give us a wave. All right, there's our head man dancer. Thank you, brother. Also serving as our head lady dancer here for our first session here, Thursday night session, Miss Harriet Nanato, second Fox Kickapoo, daughter of Linda and Fred Standing. Granddaughter of the late John and Harriet Nanato, children Evangeline, Christopher, and Adeline. All right, where are you at there, Harriet? All right, she's over here on the north side. All right, good. Welcome. Thank you for serving as our head man dancer for this evening. Also, we'd like to bring uh, to the arena here our arena directors, two of the hardest working guys here this weekend, serving as our arena directors. Mr. Marshall Williamson, come on in there, brother, where you at? Give us a wave there, right here in front of the speaker stand. All right, Marshall. Also, our other arena director, also serving as our hit singing judge here this weekend, Mr. Lloyd Harrison Hunter, right in front of the speaker stand. Big round of applause. All right, good, nephew. I don't know if our head gourd dancer is here tonight or not. Andale Worthington, are you here? Andale. Seen him at the casino the other day, maybe in Anadarko, maybe he's still on his way. Also serving as our head singer here, I don't know if he's here or not yet, Mr. Kenneth Casey Bills. Maybe he's still on his way, maybe at the casino, trying to double his money here last minute. Also serving as our head singer for tonight, taking care of all of our tribal dances here, Mr. Gishko Walker, let's give him a big round of applause. All right, thank you, Uncle. Very, very important that we have these singers here that know our songs here, know the songs of our tribal dances here. So all you singers out there, we say thank you. Minikin, all right. And I'll be serving as your MC here once again at the 52nd annual celebration here. Very glad. I want to say thank you to the committee here for asking me to serve as your MC. Been looking forward to it all year to come back home here to Second Fox Country. My name is R.G. Harris. I originally come from Stroud, Oklahoma. I'm a Sacking Fox, Ponca, Rosebud, Sioux, Pawnee, Oto, and part French. We'd like to make some introductions here of our princesses, outgoing princesses. If they are here, step on into the arena and give us that princess wave here. 2014, 2015, outgoing princess, Miss Sacking Fox Nation, Santana, Spain. Where you at, Santana? There she is right there, giving us that princess wave. All right, way to go, girl, way to go. Also at this time, introducing our 2014-15 Junior Miss Second Fox Nation outgoing princess, Patience Longhorn. Patience, are you around? All right, also introducing our outgoing 2014-15 Little Miss Second Fox Nation, Sierra Johnson. Are you around, Sierra? All right, introducing our 2014-15 senior woman, Miss Cheryl McClellan. Sister, are you around? Over here on the south side. There she is over there. All right, good, sis. Also introducing our 2014-15 senior man, Mr. Ed Butler. Uncle, where are you at? I'd like to thank you. At this time, we want to... Uh, Thank all of our tribal members that voted for this year's senior woman and this year's senior man. We had a lot of votes. It was a very tight race. And I uh, want to say that to each and every one of you that were nominated, each one of you are very special to and dear to our uh, Second Fox Nation. But here today we do have uh, our final uh, winners. And uh, our first elder that we'd like to call up is our 
Senior Woman of the Year for 2015-2016. And our tribal members voted Beverly Jackson as this year's Senior Woman of the Year. She is here. Come on up. We have a plaque that is presented being presented to you on the 9th day of July here, 2015, in honor and recognition of being selected by the tribal members to hold this prestigious title as the nation's senior woman. We have a plaque here to present to you. And also an honorarium A shawl and it is the second Fox Nation logo on it embroidered with senior woman of the year for 2015-2016 let's give her a round of applause at this time I personally would like to thank the Sac and Fox Nation for allowing us to be able to do this each year through the activity committee to be able to sponsor this event for our senior woman and senior man of the year. At this time, I would like to call our senior man of the year and our Tribal members have chosen and selected Edward Littlehead Jr. If you are here, come forward at this time. Edward Littlehead Jr., 2015-2016 Senior Man of the Year. For the Sacken Fox Nation. Let's give him a round of applause. Again, I'd like to thank all of our nominees. It was a very close race. For our senior man of the year, we have a Pendleton that has the second Fox Nation emblem along with embroidery with his name on it for senior man of the year 2015-2016. Yeah. Senator Drum, if you would, get a uh, honor song ready. We'd like to ask all of the friends and family to come out and join us as our senior man and senior woman of the year, 2015-2016, are honored here. I'd like to ask our singers to render an honor song. Again, friends and family, relatives, come on out and dance with us. All right, good relatives, we're actually coming here and dance with our senior woman and senior man. Oh, yeah. 
2015-2016. Sterling Jackson and Mohead. But, uh, congratulations, congratulations, their relatives. Ah uh ho, ah uh ho.
thank you singers, saying to your good relatives, once again honoring our 2015-2016 senior woman, Miss Beverly Jackson, and also senior man, Ed Littlehead Jr. Congratulations, all right. At this time, I'd like to uh, recognize and introduce this year's uh, princesses. I'd like to call forward our 2015 Little Miss Sack and Fox Nation Princess, newly crowned Miss Marissa Marquez. No, no, Gabby, Gabby Morris, Gabby Morris, the Little Miss. I apologize for that. Gabby Morris. If you would, please come forward at this time. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gabrielle, Gabby Morris. I'd like to welcome you all and hope you have a good time. And God bless you. Thank you very much. Also, we'd like to call Marissa Marquez, our junior Miss Second Fox Nation Princess, newly crowned. And these girls are gonna be representing the Sac and Fox Nation this year. And it's very good to see them come out and compete and be able to represent us like they do. Marissa. Hello, my name's Marissa Marquez. Um, I'd you all to make have a good time. Have a good time, thank you. <laughs> and I'd like to call our Miss Sack and Fox Nation Princess, Kaylin Wood. Also newly crowned. Oh, Nukonite, Koonichi Nai Tukonite, Kaylin Marie Wood, Nateshi. Hello, everyone. My name is Kaylin Marie Wood. I am your 2015 2016 Miss Sack and Fox Nation. Thank you. And these girls will be sitting here in front of our speaker stand, representing our Second Fox Nation. And we are very happy that they are able to do their best for us this year and representing us at many places. Powwows, they may go to school events, sometimes churches, different things. And so they will be representing us this year. Let's give them another round of applause for our Little Miss, Junior Miss, and Miss, Second Fox Nation. And we'll turn it back over to RG at this time. Uh, oh, thank you there, Neff. Women's Auxiliary, anybody from the Women's Auxiliary, come up to the speaker stand. I need you to come up here and introduce your princess at this time. Women's Auxiliary, anybody from Women's Auxiliary. Hello everybody, my name is Clarice Lillhead, I'm chairperson for the Second Fox Women's Auxiliary and uh, we would like to introduce the Second Fox Veterans Honor Guard Princess Ashley Tysan Murdoch. Ashley, can you please stand? Thank you, Ashley. Hey, Uncle, at this time here the committee has asked if we could have one song. We're very proud of our new incoming royalty. Very proud of these young ladies and the families that they represent, the tribe they represent. So the committee as our arena director has suggested that we have a song here and honor our new incoming princesses here. So I think it's very appropriate at this time here. So at this time here, Uncle, if you could give us one more honor song here. We're very proud of our new incoming royalty here so we want to honor them at this time you know we're kind of just easing on into it taking our time here that's why we set this thursday night aside for 
such a celebration like this. We're very proud of our young women, our young men, as they come in here and they dress and they dance our tribal dances. And uh, we want to let them know that we want to encourage them. We're very proud of them. So at this time, good relatives, we want you to come in here and dance with our new incoming 2015-2016 incoming royalty. All right. Whenever you're ready there, Uncle, give us that honor song. Uh, ho! Once again, relatives, we ask you to come on in and dance with our 2015 Little Miss Second Fox Nation Tribal Princess, Miss Gabby Morris. Come in here and dance with our 2015 Junior Miss Second Fox Nation Tribal Princess, Ms. Marissa Marquez. All right. And also celebrating our 2015-2016 Miss Second Fox Nation Tribal Princess, Kaylin Wood. Hey, Come on in, let's dance and show your support here for our incoming royalty. Ah ho, ah ho.
Thank you, thank you. Good relatives here. Once again, honoring our 2015-16 Miss Second Fox Nation, Kaylin Wood. Also our junior Miss Second Fox Nation, Marissa Marquez, and our little Miss Second Fox Nation, Miss Gabby Morris. Oh, uh -huh. So honoring our 2015-16 Honor Guard Princess, Miss Ashley Murdoch. All right, good job there, ladies. Good job. All right. I'd like to introduce our water people here, our water guys, Mr. Tiller Buckcha. Come on in and give us a wave there, Tiller. Come on in and give us a wave. Right here in the blue shirt there from Stroud, Oklahoma. He received All-State for the shot and the disc this year. All-Stater, all right. Also introducing our another water guy there, Jeremy Johnson from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Jeremy, give us a wave, all right. All right, at this time here, Uncle, our arena director says we want to go into some of our tribal dances here, and I believe our veterans said they want to go into that brave dance to start off. Brave dance. Followed by our swan dance. So, I want to bring uh, this first tribal dance here, our brave dance. This dance here, this first dance we're going to do here is uh, unique to our tribe here, the brave dance. It was done in honor of our veterans, honoring their deeds they have done on the battlefield. And uh, many years back, only the men used to do this dance here. But uh, as it was brought into the arena here, we invited our women to dance into this, uh, to these songs here. They dance on the outside. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be doing, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, our tribal dances here, we're going to be sharing some of our dances here with you tonight. This is what this night is set aside here for, is uh, allowing us time to have our own tribal dances here in our Second Fox community here. Some of the dances we'll be doing tonight, Brave Dance, Swan Dance, Bean Dance, Scrub, Pipe Dance. We'll be sharing uh, some of these tribal dances with you here this evening. So once again, we want to thank our singers for coming over here, sharing their knowledge of these songs here for us, allowing us to come over here and enjoy ourselves. Enjoy ourselves being Sack and Fox here. And we want to thank you dancers for coming over here tonight. You're welcome to come in here. We encourage you. To come in here and dance with us. And now uh, we'll say thank you once again to you veterans. And now uh, we want to show respect to you. You asked uh, to have this dance here first. And uh, we honor you. We say thank you. So we're allowing us, uh, allowing us to be here this, e this evening, here this weekend. So we're going to go into that dance at this time, our second Fox Brave Dance. Veterans, come on in. Dancers that know this dance, come on in. All veterans, all veterans. The committee says all veterans, come on in. Hey, we got a lost little guy up here. Ashton lost his mama. at the casino.
Nimiko, Nimiko, Brave Dash, Nimiko. Hang in there, brave dance. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Oh, 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 oh. Let me go. Let me go. Make a day. Thank you singers, thank you dancers, let's clear the arena before we go into our next dance here. How about it ladies and gentlemen, let's give these guys a big round of applause, our brave dance, honoring our veterans, honoring the deeds, honoring things that they have done. All right, thank you ladies also. All right, the committee has relayed the message here. They wanted one song, their uncle, for our full bloods. All full blood tribal second fox members, come on in. We are going to sing one song, honor song for you at this time. All full bloods. If you're not able to dance out there, we ask that you stand where you are. We want to honor you at this time. You know, we only have very few members left that are full bloods. On the books there, it says we have maybe a little over 20 full blood second fox. Okay, good relatives. Maybe there's some more, maybe back at the camp here. And we want to honor our full-blooded tribal Second Fox members at this time. So we honor you here, relatives. We say thank you. 
I want to have an honor song here at this time. So good relatives, if you would please come on in and dance with our tribal members here that are full blood Sac and Fox tribal members. This is what we have here, right? We're very honored. We say thank you. We honor them at this time here. Aho, Minikin, Yuawiyama. Good relatives, good relatives. We ask that you come in here. Princesses, Nimiko, Nimiko, Royalty, Nimiko, Chicken A. Put that sandwich down. Relatives, if you could at this time, we ask that you rise here as our full blood tribal second folks members come around. Aho, aho, thank you. Minikin, Kiwawiyaman. very wonderful and rare occasion that we still have some full-blooded tribal members. That's what we want to honor them here at this time. Thank you, relatives. Thank you. Our whole, our whole, thank you. Good relative, that's why uh that's why we have this Thursday night celebration to honor our tribal dances, to honor our outgoing royalty, to honor our incoming royalty. Very, very appropriate. And we have an honor song here for our full blood second fox tribal members here. We wish you good health. We wish good luck. In your life, there, relative. Oh, thank you. You are an army. Get the knob. Get the knob.
Oh, thank you, Senior. Thank you, good relatives. Uh, all right. How about a big round of applause for our full blood chapel members? All right. Second box nation. Song dancers, singers, good relatives here. This is one of our dances here, unique to our tribe here. Our ladies, they lead this dance here. As they dance, you'll see them imitate the movements of the swan here, the beautiful, graceful movements of the swan. Our women lead this dance here. Gentlemen, jump in there, behind there. Jump in there, gentlemen. Our women are in charge of this dance here. Beautiful dance, beautiful dance. One of our tribal dances here, unique to our Sacred Fox Meskwaki people here. Swan dance. Biako, Biako, Nimiko, Nimiko, Kikane. our dance here, imitating the graceful movements of the swan. Oh, ah, let me go, let me go.
Be honoring this uh, young lady here at this time here, Miss Mary McCormick. 
You know, she's been in the position of working for our tribe here, working for our people for many years. Many years here. Standing up and talking for our people and seeing that things go the way they're supposed to go. So they're going to honor her at this time here. One of our tribal elders. The committee says this goes right along with our Tiny Talk the Elders Committee. So we want to honor Miss Mary at this time here. here to our honoree here at this time here, Ms. Mary McCormick, thanking her for the many, many years of service here to our tribe, serving in the office here with our Second Fox Nation. You could rise, please, as our honoree comes around the arena to say thank you, Ms. Mary McCormick. Dominican, do all we omen.
Uh, thank you, singers. Thank you, good relatives. Honoring uh, one of our tribal members here, Miss Mary McCormick. Uh, relatives and friends, could I have your attention just a moment here? This uh, past year here, we've, as a uh, Sac and Fox Nation elders, entity of the tribe, too often we go uh, through life and don't take a little bit of time to really recognize those that have uh, come forth and provided us the leadership and could, someone that could verbally stand up for us. And I've had her daughter uh, write up a narrative here on her accomplishments and uh, the elders organization wants to express uh, on behalf of the nation their deepest appreciation for her many years of dedication not only as elected official but uh, in her private life and her profession that she chose her education she was a teacher a librarian she serves on uh, organization outside of the Sac and Fox Nation uh, dealing with education of young people and we just wanted to show our gratitude here so I'm going to read just a little bit here of what she's accomplished uh, Mary Frances McCormick currently serves as the secretary of the Sac and Fox Nation she has dedicated her adult life to serving American Indians Mary was born January 24th 1932 to Thomas Coker and Frances Walker Coker in school she excelled academically and in basketball at Prairie View School and Pleasant Grove School in Seminole, Oklahoma. After graduation, she married and began raising her two daughters while working at the Sil uh, Sylvania plant in Shawnee. Here she assembled radio tubes with several other local Indian women. When the plant closed, she started college and held part-time secretarial work. In 1969, Mary was elected to serve as secretary for the Sac and Fox Nation. Over the next 46 years, she has served the nation for approximately 22 years on the business committee, 19 years as secretary, and three years as principal chief. In her many years, Mary continued her college education and eventually worked as a teacher and librarian in the public school systems in Seminole and Pottawatomie counties. Mary has a firm commitment to the constitution of the Sac and Fox Nation as it states, the supreme governing body of the Sac and Fox Nation shall be the governing council. She has given countless hours reading, writing, interpreting, and presenting issues of the people of the Sac and Fox Nation, whether she was in office or not. Many tribal members have considered her their primary advocate for their rights over the past 46 years. Mary was very instrumental in working out the Indian Claims Commission settlement between the Second Fox of Oklahoma, uh, the Nemaha of Missouri, and the Meskwaki of Iowa. Mary was also trivial in the negotiations establishing the Tinoco settlement, bringing a favorable conclusion to the environmental destruction caused by an oil company. A major accomplishment of Mary's was working to bring water to the reservation in the 1970s. I kind of miss the water buffaloes myself. Some of Mary's other accomplishments include, in 1972, she was Outstanding Indian Woman of the Year for the Oklahoma Federation of Indian Women. 2003, she was Outstanding Indian Person for the American Indian Culture Society in Norman, Oklahoma. Recognition as one of the first 75 outstanding students in the College of Education for the University of Oklahoma currently appointed to the Oklahoma Advisory Council on Indian Education. As tribal members, let's give Ms. McCormick a big hand here at this time. Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much for all that you've done for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about one more big round of applause for Ms. Mary McCormick. All right, I think she deserves it. Thank you. Let me know something, Marshall. Let me know, man. You're the reader director. I'm just doing what you tell me. Marshall says we're ready to go, so take it away there, center drum. Contest song. The contest is on.
Circle up, guys. Circle up. You get a second song. Circle up, guys. Circle up. We're going over to our drum here that came down from Tama, Iowa. Wild Fox. Spocky second Fox drum here. So we're going to also honor these young guys that came all the way from Tama. So we want to give them a song. So whenever you are ready, Wild Fox, come a code. Big round of applause, our tiny talk category. Come line up, guys. Come see Lloyd, come see Lloyd. Line up just like we've been practicing all week long in the front room. Thank you, Wild Fox. All right, right on, boys, right on. How about a big round of applause? Wild Fox, all the way from Tama, Iowa. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, they have said they are all champions. Let's give them a big round of applause. Our tiny talk category, all right. All right, as they get paid off and they exit the arena, let's give our tiny talks a big round of applause one more time. Encourage them, our future right there, I'll tell you. Future champions, future champions. That's when they start, that's when they start. Yeah, we're here having fun tonight. Boy, that's what it's all about, that's what it's all about. We're enjoying ourselves here tonight, giving our singers a little bit of a break here. Uh, Uncle, we're getting ready to go into the bean dance here, so... 
Petrus, be getting ready, men and women, be getting ready for the bean dance. Another one of our dances here, our tribal dances here amongst our Sack and Fox and Squawky people here. And as you see these dancers lined up, you'll see the men on one side and the women on the other side. This uh, represents uh, the crops here. And as they dance and they cross each other right there, this represents the cross pollination of our crops that we plant here. This represents uh, the pollination and giving honor to the foods and all the different uh, plants and things that we have that will sustain us throughout the winter months. So this is what this represents here. Giving honor to the Creator, giving honor to all of the elements, giving honor to the food here, the crops that we planted throughout the springtime months and as they sustain us throughout the winter. We're giving honor to these things here. So this is one of our dances here, the bean dance. So dancer, let's start coming into the arena here. So we get ready for another one of our tribal dances, bean dance. Yeah. Come on dancers, the guys that know how to dance here, come on in. If you're not real familiar, come on in and follow these dancers here. Once again, our bean dance here, representing our paying honor to the all the different elements here, all the different creations. As you see the dancers cross, this represents the pollination of our crops here that will sustain us throughout the winter months. Very beautiful dance here. Very beautiful thing you're going to see here. Okay, Uncle, whenever you're ready there, Nakamako. Okay, Uncle, whenever you're ready there, beam dance.
Thank you, singers. Thank you, dancers. All right, at this time here, good relatives, you know, we ask one of our relatives to come over here and serve as our head singer and lead us in our tribal singing, our tribal dances here. He was in the hospital last week. Wasn't feeling good, you know, but he made his way over here. Uh, he enjoys this drum, this way of life here, this singing here, this dancing here, carrying on the history here of our tribal dances. And uh, he made his way over here, wasn't feeling 100%, but he wanted to be here. He wanted to be here and carry this song here. He wanted to be here to be in charge here this evening and to encourage all of these other singers to come out here and learn our tribal songs here. So at this time here, the committee is spreading the blanket out there. And uh, they want to you know, come out here and help our head singer for the evening here, Kishko Walker. My relative here wasn't feeling good, but he uh, made his way over here. He honored his invitation here to be our head singer here for this evening. So we're spreading the blanket over here for our relative, also his helpers out there, our singers. We appreciate you singers here this evening. We thank you very much for being here, for singing our songs here, making us feel good. When we hear these songs here, it reminds us of a lot of our relatives that used to be here. We used to see our grandmas out there dancing, really enjoying herself, moving around here, making all these movements here, and a smile on their face. You know, we remember that through these songs here. It makes us feel good. That's what we're here for tonight. That's what the committee has set aside this Thursday night here so that we could uh, come over here and share these dances and, and uh, dance with our relatives, dance with our fellow tribal members. And also share these dances with our other tribes here. We invite them to come in here and dance with us. And uh, we want to share these things with us. We thank our uh, Muskwaki relatives that uh, made their way down here and uh, dancing with us here. Uh, the singers that came over here, we say thank you, Minikin, Kawaiom, and Ketana for being here this, this, uh, this evening here. And uh, we invite you to come over here and uh, enjoy yourself all weekend, all of you good relatives. Uh, our people that are here, our relatives that have camps set up around, we know they're going to invite you over to come eat, so we know our people are like that. So this is what we're here for. This is the homecoming here of our second Fox people here. We enjoy ourselves. We wait all year for this. And uh, we come over here. We feel good. We want to share this dance this year with you. We want to share this good uh, fellowship with you. We want to sit down here and break bread with you and talk about things and laugh and uh, enjoy ourselves in a good way. So. I want to thank our committee once again for having this Thursday night, tribal night. So the committee says they depend on uh, my relative here, Gishko, for uh, a lot of things. Many times when we have uh, fundraisers and uh, tribal dances throughout the year that uh, they ask him to come over. And uh, he takes care of this for us. And, uh, we encourage you younger singers to pick up on these songs here and help us out. So that's what we want to do. Uncle, we want to honor you at this time here and uh, you and your singers here. And, uh, we want to ask for a song here. Different relatives, we ask you to come out here and place some money on the drum there and, and uh, encourage our singers and uh, show your thanks and show your respect for them. So at this time here, Uncle, uh, give us that uh, honor song here at this time. Uh, ho! I hope my uncle is feeling better. We'll be in our prayers as we go to our different ceremonial lodges. 
keeping the meeting, prayer services, church, good relatives, you must think about him. We want to feel good. We want to continue to be around us, continue to help us. All of these singers here, we thank you. Once again, hope, Lincoln.
you singers, thank you good relatives. No, we depend on our, our relatives, our brothers and our uncles, our grandfathers. And we want to say thank you to our relative, Mishko Walker, for coming over here and serving as our head singer for our tribal night. So thank you, Uncle. Hope you feel better. Our prayers are with you. All right, at this time here, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be doing our tribal dance here. One of our dances done back into time by our only, our bravest warriors. This pipe dance here was done. This dance was done here to solidify the peace between the different tribes. So these dancers will now be doing one of our tribal dances here, the pipe dance. They'll be dancing to the four directions. This solidifies and shows the peace between the different tribes here. So as soon as these guys finish with the four directions here, they will share the pipe and the gourd with other dancers. So be ready, other men dancers, be ready. Okay, whenever you're ready there, singers.
Firefox, stand by, Wild Fox, last go round. <laughs> you know, relatives, we have one of our relatives coming down from Tama, Iowa, Wild Fox singers. We're going to ask two younger dancers to dance the pipe dance, and we're going to turn it over to Wild Fox to render that pipe dance song. I think that's pretty wonderful there to have the young people carry on our our dances. So we're going to do that at this time here. Good relatives, you could go along with us here at this time. This is how it's done here. This is how it's done here. Hand it down from our older relatives to our young ones to carry it on. Thank you, Wild Fox and young guys. They know these songs here. We're very impressed. We're very thankful. Our four relatives, the spotty relatives from the settlement. Okay, Wild Fox. Yeah. All right, bring them over here, boys. Bring them over here. How about a big round of applause for Wild Fox all the way from Tama, Iowa. Way to go, boys. Way to go. Women's Sock and Meskwaki Contest. Women's Sock and Meskwaki Contest. Come on in. Make the circle. All right, our ring director says one group, two songs. So whenever you're ready, center drum. Good luck.
Okay, Lord Sets are ready to go. Second song, Good Luck Ladies. Women Soft and Spock style. Tribal dances down here, right here at Second Fox Power. All right, way to go. Boy, I sure like these little ones, boy, dancing out there, giving her everything they got, man. The little young dancers, water future champions. All right. Good luck, ladies, as they exit the floor. Let's give them a big round of applause one more time. Our sock and Maspaki style. All right, we are. Men dancers, circle up, men. Come on in. Piano, piano, kickin' a, kickin' a. One group, two songs, Lloyd says. Whenever you're ready, center drum, take it away. Sock and Muskwaki style. Good luck, gentlemen.
Alright, circle up, gentlemen, circle up. We got one more song. Water people, water people. Okay, Lord says you're ready to go. Second song. Good luck, gentlemen. Sock and Musquaki style. song here our uh, hit man and hit lady that were selected for this evening they asked for an honor song they want to show the respect here for being selected as our hit man and hit lady this, this, this evening here so our honored hit man and hit lady has asked for a song here to give back to the arena here that's the old way of doing things you know when you get asked to be selected as the hit man or the hit woman old way they used to give back to the arena here so that's what they'd like to do here at this time our arena director said we are ready to go, so center drum, give us that honor song for our head man and head lady for the evening. So that makes you come in here and show your support here for our head man dancer, Mr. Billy Bimo, and our head lady dancer, Ms. Harriet Nanato. Selected as our Thursday night head man and head lady. We invite all of you dancers to come on in and show your support here. <laughs>
song there belongs to William Demo Jr. being honored at this time here. Uh, ho, uh, ho.
All right. Thank you, singer. Thank you, good relatives. Thank you, Billy Bimo, Harriet Nato. Our head dancer selected for tonight on Thursday night, traditional night. So thank you. All right, uh, good relatives here. My brother here, Mr. Uh, Billy Bimo, said um, he wants me to relay this message here. You know, he's real thankful for the opportunity to be uh, serve as our head man. Also, Harriet, my sister here, serve as the head lady. And uh, they were notified kind of late here and selected as our head man and head lady here this evening. But uh, they still have a few items here they want to give away here to the committee. And also, uh, they want to bring some things out to the drum and say thank you. Uh, my brother here says they're glad to serve as our uh, head staff here this evening. He wants to thank everybody and thank the committee here for thinking that much of them to ask them to come over here and serve. So we say thank you to each and every one of you good relatives here for coming over here and showing your support here to my family here. So they, at this time here, they'd like to call up the committee. Committee. Uh, they said, uh, take this shawl here off of my sister here. Give that to the committee here at this time. They say thank you for asking them to serve as our head man and head lady here this evening on Thursday night here, our traditional night. Very, very important evening here amongst our people. Okay, uh, my brother says that with that, you know, he wants to uh, say thank you to each and every one of you good relatives here in the committee also, and all the family here that have showed their support, and they have some items here they want to take out to the drum there, uncle, and say thank you once again. I hope, you know. All right, we have a tie in the women's soft and muskoki style. We need these three numbers. Judges, come on up. One five nine, one one zero, and one four six. Take it away, center drum. This is the tie. Good luck, ladies. Fox, give us that inner tribal boys. Inner tribal time. Right after this inner tribal, we're gonna call the winners out. We have winners in the women's category and winners in the men's. Right after that, Uncle will turn it over to you. Close it out for the evening. Hey, Wild Fox, whenever you're ready, come a go. Take it away, boys. Inner tribal. All right, inner 
tribal time. Enjoy this pleasure time dancing. We're dancing to the music. The Wild Fox Singers from Tama, Iowa. All right. Come on in. Wake yourself up there. Get your shawl on. Come on in and dance. Thank you, Wild Fox. All right. You're going to call some winners out here in our women's sock and Meskwaki and also the men's sock and Meskwaki dance. All right. Moving along into the women's sock and Meskwaki style. In third place, contestant 110. Come on running. 110. You have won third place. Be sure and come up here and sign your envelope. Third place. Give us your name, 110, and where are you from? Fia Kiana, your third place winner, Tama, Iowa. All right. In second place, contestant 158. Your second place winner, contestant one, five, eight, camera running. <laughs> Emily Young Bear Brown, your second place winner. From Tama, from Tama, Iowa, all right. And your champion in the Sock and Meskwaki Women's Contest, contestant one, two, zero, your champion. Denya Bear, Shawnee, Oklahoma. All right, good dancing, beautiful category, man. We're thankful once again to the committee here for sponsoring this Sock and Meskwaki style. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Did you enjoy this category? Let's give them a big round of applause here. All right. Yeehaw. Thank you. 
All right, line up, guys. Take a picture there. All right, congratulations, ladies. All right, moving on to our men's sock and Muskwaki style. In third place, contestant one three seven. Come around in one three seven. Our third place winner, Daniel Youngbear, Tama, Iowa. All right, congratulations there, brother. Way to go. Moving on to second place in our men's sock and Muskwaki style. Contestant one, four, one. Henry Hunter, Shawnee, Oklahoma. All right. Moving on to our champion in the men's sock and Muskwaki style, contestant one, three, eight, Marty Thurman, Shawnee, Oklahoma. All right. Alright Uncle, I believe they're going to come out there for a Shawnee dance, I believe our final tribal dance. Here. You know, a long time ago, our tribes would come together and dance. Sikin Fox, Squawky, Shawnee, Kickapoo. This is one of the dances here that was shared with our people. Shawnee dance here. So, relatives, come on in. Let me go. Let me go.
singer. Thank you, dancer. Johnny Dance. All right. Yeah. All right. The committee says they're turning over to you, Uncle. Out there, we're gonna close out here for the evening. We've enjoyed ourselves here this evening, our Thursday night traditional night. Thank all you dancers for coming out here, all you tribal dancers for being here, all you good relatives that came over and sat with us here, and visitors that came over, we say thank you. song and then closing prayer. All right, that's how we're going there, Brother Marvin. You know how it is, you know how it is. Oh, Uncle, give us that one song there and close us out. And I got our brother over here to give us our closing prayer for the evening. Thank you, singers, good relatives. If you could remain standing, please. We ask my good brother here, Mr. Marvin Thurman, to come up here and give us our closing prayer. Okay, brother. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we stand before you tonight, we thank you for a beautiful day, and as it draws to a close, Father, we thank you for just being in our midst. Father, we thank you for all the people who have come, all the participants. Father, we thank you for the singers and the many, many tribes that have come to make this celebration what it is today. And Father, above all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, and that he's been here and watching over us and taking care of us. We thank you for the blessing of the rain. 
And Father, tonight before we go, we just want to remember those that are in mourning, those that might be in hospitals or sick, or even those that are going through difficult times in their lives. May you just be with them tonight for those that are traveling. We ask for travel and mercy to our homes. And Father, this would not be possible if it wasn't for our veterans. And tonight we have many young men and women who are serving on foreign soil in harm's way. May you just watch over them and take care of them and bring them back to a safety. Again, Father, we thank you for the business committee, the tribe, for everyone here that's come to these grounds in the next few days to enjoy and celebrate. May you just be in our midst, take care of us, forgive us of our shortcomings, Father. And as we go throughout this night, tomorrow, we ask for a blessing on a new day, if it's thy will, Father. So we just ask now, thank you for each and every one that's come to make this possible. We ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. All right, that concludes our Thursday evening session, good relatives. Thank you, singers. Uh, Uncle Atagishko, with you and your singers, we say thank you. Thank you, Brother Marvin.